Hi, this is Andrew Moore Crispin with your Butterscotch.com tutorial series on using your new iPad, iPad 101. Now, today we're going to take a look at using your iPad as an ebook reader, which is one of the killer apps that uh, Steve Jobs mentioned when he first announced the device. So we can see here we, th we have the iBooks application already downloaded to our device. Now, by default, the iBooks application doesn't actually come pre-installed. It's something that we have to choose to install from the App Store. The first time we enter the App Store, we'll be prompted to download the iBooks application, or we can choose to do that later. But it is definitely worth a look. Now, you can see the initial view that you get on your library. When you first launch the device, uh, you, you'll be prompted that you can actually download Winnie the Pooh which is uh, a free book that comes on the device. So now we can, we can actually scroll through our library here. If we, had, uh, if we had more books on our shelves, we'd be able to go up and down here. We can also choose to get a list view by tapping on the list icon in the top right here. Let's go back to the bookshelf view because it just looks nicer. So we can choose to tap to launch any of our books. It'll take us to the last page we were, we were actually reading. And we can flip through pages like this. We can also choose to skip sections and chapters. You can see here chapter 8, 9, 10 here. And uh, we can go through that way to kind of quickly go through our books. We can also change font sizes and font type or search for a word within the, within the book. So for example, we could search for poo. And it'll show us, um, obviously there's going to be a lot of references to poo in this book given that it is a Winnie the Pooh book. So let's go back to our library and have a look at how we're going to actually go about downloading new iBooks. So we tap on the store icon in the top left here. And we get an interface that looks very much like the App Store that we're probably all familiar with. So you can see here some highlighted books that they're featuring. You can see here we have uh, fiction on the top here. And we also have nonfiction down here. On the very bottom of the, uh, of the library, we can choose to search for books that are 10 bucks or less, best-selling books, free books, and all this kind of stuff. We can also access different uh, parts of our account or redeem an iTunes gift card if we have one of those. Now we can see what's being featured up here. We can tap on any of these to go and get a little bit more information. But in this case, we're going to go and have a quick look across the bottom here. So we have, like I said, the featured view on the uh, iBook store. We also have the New York Times bestseller list. So we can tap on any of these to get a little bit more information top selling charts. And you can see here, we can see some uh, free books on the right hand side here. And we can also check out any books that we've purchased, which we clearly haven't done yet. So let's go have a look here and we'll actually choose to download one of the free books. Now you'll see a lot of these kind of kinds of books in the free bookstore. Obviously they haven't spent a lot of time pulling together cover art and all that kind of stuff. What we're really getting is uh, a public domain book that they just want to kind of put a bare minimum of effort into, which I suppose is understandable. So in this case we're going to download The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes. Now you can see we first we tap on free and then we tap on get book. Now in this case we've already in, um, associated the device with our iTunes account. Uh, I don't mind showing you my password because as after today it will be changed. One, two, three, four, five, six, which is quite possibly the worst password in existence. And now we can see our book is actually downloading. So we can tap on the book to launch and read it just like we would any other, uh, any other book in our library. Now let's go back and have another quick look at the iTunes or the, at the iBook store and look at downloading paid books. So we can tap here. We can actually, sorry, we can tap on the um, heading itself and we get a brief description of what the book's all about. We can see ratings down here or we could choose to add our own rating. You can read some reviews that uh, the other people who've read the book have put down here. If we are sold, we can tap on the button here to buy now or we can go back to the store choose to get a sample. And if we choose to get a sample, we'll get uh, a little bit of the book to actually read um, so we can just have a quick look and see if it's something that's going to be of interest to us. In this case, we have about 35 pages of the book to kind of get a feel for if it's something we want. And when we're reading a sample, we also have a buy button in the top here that we can just tap to purchase the book. So that's a quick look as, at using your iPad as an ebook reader and the iBook store. And that concludes part four of our iPad 101 series. Be sure to hit up the show notes on butterscotch.com for more detail and for all the parts.
Hey, this is Doc. If you're looking for a cheap and easy way to put your own content on the web, go get domain names from Hover.com. Just visit Hover.com slash Butterscotch and you'll get 10% off and support shows like these. Thanks.